Sorry about that. Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Joshi e. Rotten, who sent over the new, well, the latest demo from Infant 5 Dysplasia, Untitled Demo 2 on Small One Pancreas Productions, eight untitled tracks clocking in at under five minutes of straightforward gore noise that legitimately, I'm sorry, it just sounds like nobody tried at all here. It just sounds like a vocal 300 pitch shifter. Not sure if they used a human being to record the vocals or maybe messed around and used a shifter with like a toilet, gurgling water. You can get some gnarly noises. But um, infant fiber displacer. Uh, I don't know that much about this project, but I was kind of just like, yeah, like, I, I love gore noise and everything, but this just fell, it just didn't do anything. It kind of lit a fire under my ass for BC Lives, and, like, I know, I'm not trying to be a dick here, I know 120% I can make something way gnarlier than this. Like, 100%. I, like, again, love gore noise. Uh, like, always tell people, you know, if you're trying to get into it, like, go check out the Blast Attic fan camp, but also the Living Worm Food three-way. This is a great entry to get into, like... The corpse explosion, uh, cognitive necrosis, and masculated polyps. A little bit easier to enjoy and get into than Untitled Demo 2 by Infant Fibo Dysplasia. Just because, like I said, this doesn't, it just feels like, like, all right. Let's just do a bunch of blast beats with the drum machine and shift the vocals. Done. I'm sure there's more to it, but that's all I hear. And it's, again, like, I've made a couple of tracks like this to where I'm like, no, like, that's legit the coolest part about the rele this release, is like that end, like, because it actually sounds like something. And I get it, it's gore noise, I'm not stupid, I love gore. And when it comes to, like, more gore noise stuff, like, I think I, somebody asked me one time, they were like, hey, like, they're talking about miasmatic necrosis and they were like yeah they're 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 a super sick like gore noise band and i was like no like they're a super sick gore band but they, not, they don't play gore noise like there's a big difference but i feel like bestial future faction really does something special with the more noisy side of gore by adding bestial black death metal to it. So you get a total aural apocalypse of bestial gore, war noise, barbarism, and inhumanity for fans of revenge, regurgitate carcass, impentago, tetragramicide, death worship and piss grade and this is like taped over on like a jazz tape i get it it's, it's diy but like i don't know 
all I kept thinking was, this is kind of lazy. And, like, look, I'll grab some DIY stuff, like, lying around from a cursed wound. Uh, yeah, like, working on certain stuff, we would do, you know, our own DIY stuff. And then, like, see, this is just, and, and again, I love how underground and sick that is. For Swollen Pancreas Productions. But at the same time. It's like. Yeah but. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I wouldn't pay for pro tapes either. For a four minute. Release. So I, I get it. But eight untitled tracks. Under five minutes. Of gore noise. And don't expect anything really groundbreaking here. Infant fibo dysplasia. I haven't heard demo one, but uh, I'm guessing it's very similar to what demo two sounds like, which, yeah, I just feel like. They could definitely try a little bit harder, but I guess that's, you know, half the fun is just getting some friends together and hooking up the pitch shifter and being like, all right, let's, you know, make some tunes. But I wouldn't charge money for, like, something. I'm sorry, like, I honestly wouldn't. Like, this is just something that I would do for fun. And, but it, it's awesome, you know, like, if this is, like, these musicians, if this is one of their first releases, that's sick. But I'm guessing these dudes are in, like, 90 other bands, and this is just for fun, and, yeah. So, Swollen Pancreas Productions put out Infant Fibo Dysplasia's demo number two. I'm not sure if tapes are available yet or whatever, but I'll put a link in the video description. But, like, this is a DIY release for the latest, not the latest, because we have a split that just came out, but the 78-minute Frog Mist uh, ambient comp. Like... These were all just hand printed, uh, hand duplicated to my knowledge. Um, just wow, like Fantasy Audio Magazine just really knocked it out of the park with these. They look great, they sound great, and for a DIY label, like to me, I couldn't ask for anything better and speaking of joshi rotten hails and thank you he did that logo right there and again i'm just just a, a release i'm very proud of like from a diy standpoint and everything like it's just exactly what we wanted as a band and like even with Crown of Piss, we didn't find a cassette, like a proper cassette release. And this is some of my favorite material, until you folks hear the full length. Like, But the tape version, to me, destroys the CD version. But it's also... It was DIY... It was limited. I really want to reissue this properly. Like, at least fit these cassettes. Because it's one of my favorite uh, A Cursed Wound releases. I would love to do that on vinyl, honestly. With, like, the original promo. But, like, to me, if I'm going to listen to, like, noisy gore, I'm going to listen to some... Something with a little bit more 
effort. So I'm going to go more with Bestial Putrefaction than Infant Fibo Displace You. And I'm sorry, it, but like, I know all you gore hounds are like, you fucking poser, but like, no, it just feels lazy. I, I wouldn't pay, if I paid money for this, I'd be kind of like, And I'm sorry, it's just, like, again, I love gore noise, I love gore grind, but just sometimes I like when it's just a little more organized, and even when it comes to, like, straight up gore noise, I'm just gonna shut up. So, you can check out Demo. Untitled demo number two by Infant Fibro Displacia on Swollen Pancreas Productions. Maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did because I just thought it was like gore noise for beginners. Sorry, that's just... And I'm and I'm sure again there's probably like some legendary gore people behind this project, but to me it just doesn't do anything except for just sound lazy. But hey, again it's gore it's gore noise. This is meant to be fun, so part of me I understand that, but again like would I sell it? No. Like at like if I put that out, no. I would I would not I'd be like, ah, like that's not good. Like I well, let's re record it. But it's supposed to sound this way. It's a demo. I get it, okay? But it's just to me the the songs just no. They just don't do anything for me. Not my thing. And I love gore, but just the drum sound, terrible. Like, it's just not, not for me. I'm sorry. Sorry to infant fibro dysplasia, but untitled demo too. Yeah, I'm, it just wasn't, wasn't my thing. But I understand, you know, recording over like, older tapes for this release, because, like I said, it's only, like, four minutes and 35 plus seconds, so you just get, like, an old pro tape, and you do what you gotta do, put a little logo on it, and boom, but if you're buying this for eight dollars, no, 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 unless, like, you know, you really want to support this band or something, and that's a different story. Or the label or whatever, but, like, when it comes, if you're, like, looking for some really sick tunes, you're barking up the wrong tree, and I'm sorry. But thank you, Josh, anyway, for sending that to the channel. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Make sure you join the Patreon. Tears start at a dollar. And that lasts you for a month. If you like the Patreon, which is updated daily, I work really hard on that thing. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to go listen to the new Spectral Voice cassette again. Have a good one. Peace. <clears throat>